Hey there everyone, it's Yaken here from Trying Ground. Welcome back to another review video. I know it has been quite a while, but for today's review video, let's talk about this Huawei Pura 70 Pro. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's dive down straight to the design department of this Huawei Pura 70 Pro. Let's start with the back. So if you really see the uh, back of the latest Huawei Pura series, it has this triangular camera bump shape. So Huawei reps mentioned that it actually symbolizes a forward button, meaning the company is actually moving forward. Yeah, so that's a theme onto it for why they are creating this camera bump design layout. Okay, yeah. So for those who are wondering, yes, this uh, huge circular here is the uh, telephoto camera. And here is the uh, main camera and here is the uh, ultra wide camera. Now, I also have to say that this device definitely embraces curvature. Why? If you really see, everything has a curve onto it. From the camera bump, you see there's a curve to the back glass. You saw the back glass cover over here. It's curved as well. And then if you really head over to the side chassis, it's curved as well. And then if you head to the display, the corners of it, it's curved as well. Yeah. So I will have to say the design element here is pretty top-notch from Huawei. And... I will have to say this device is actually quite weighted as well, 220 gram. So for the design department, I think overall it's going to be, it's either you like it or you will dislike it outright out of it. But for me, I would have to say I'm leaning towards to liking it. Next, let's talk about the performance on this device. So powering this device is the Kirin 9010 chipset. And for this device here, it's packed along with 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of internal storage. Software-wise, it's running the EMUI 14.2.0 out of the box right now. And I will have to say this chipset over here, I would say for normal user, they will feel it fast. But if you are someone that's into the uh, benchmarking, you definitely able to notice that the chipset definitely going to be lagging behind some of the flagship competition that's available in the market. Now, unless you are someone that is really heavy into the uh, mobile gaming on this device, or you want to be uh, constantly pushing the graphics to the maximum, then uh, I was sorry to say that this device won't be the ideal device for you but what the performance here is able to deliver is enough to satisfy and pretty fast for all your day-to-day -day usage uh, simple mobile gaming it will meet the demands on that level as well and when you really need to do productive awesome. productivity it is also having enough horsepower to deliver so now let's head over to the display and audio performance for the Pura 70 Pro. So Pura 70 Pro is actually using a 6.8 inches LTPO OLED display that can display 1 billion colors. It also has uh, support for HDR contents as well. Refresh rate, it could refresh up to 120 hertz. And also the peak brightness is 2,500 nits. The display is also being protected with Kunlun Glass 2. So Huawei did mention that the Kunlun Glass 2 provides even better protection compared to the first generation Kunlun Glass. Now for the display, I will have to say the colors the brightness, everything is pretty on point. Hardly you want to go in to find fault. Just remember this is actually Huawei's flagship device. So 
you are getting the best of the best with the display over here. Meanwhile, for the speakers themselves, uh, it's a stereo speaker. So you can see that the uh, bottom here, there's a uh, one of the uh, speaker grill over here. And the other one is definitely being on the uh, earpiece itself. So how is the audio and display performance? So let me just play you a video. Now, this video is being recorded during the Huawei APEC launch. So my mic is there. Let's... Three that complements every outfit and every occasion. Um, so yeah, let's be honest. In a world that's brimming with choices, we want something that marries functionality as well as aesthetics. Um, so yeah, in producing our latest video, I chose the moon white color with a floral... Now let's move to the camera on the Huawei Pura 70 Pro. Let's start with the specification. On the real, triple camera setup featuring a 50 megapixel main camera. Yes, OIS. And then this telephoto camera over here is a 48 megapixel, 3.5 times optical zoom telephoto camera. It also has OIS as well. And then over here, a 12.5 megapixel ultra wide camera. Yeah, pretty amazing. And over on the front facing camera, you have a 13 megapixel selfie shooter over here. Now, one thing I want to highlight that all the cameras on this Huawei Pura 70 Pro can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second. And that is amazing. Now, that is some of the specification to take note on. Now, let's talk about the photography experience with this camera. Truly amazing. Hardly you are going to be finding fault with it. This just show how mobile photography with its computational photography is advancing at the rate of you are almost hardly going to find any fault. Truly amazing. Now, shots from the main camera most of the time nails it be it whether in bright daylight shots or low light situation that's good and for the ultra wide same as well hardly you are going to find any fault with it and for the telephoto camera over here it actually works as a telephoto macro camera as well yes you can actually use the telephoto to do macro shots and the output is truly mind-blowing seriously no joke hands down one of the best telephoto camera you can get right now on a mobile device however there is some limitation for the telephoto camera whereby if you are going to use to do long shot zooms it will suffer okay so i will highly suggest you to keep within the uh, 10 times hybrid zoom area if you want to keep the quality to be usable anything way above that yeah it would start to degrade in terms of the photo quality meanwhile the selfie camera is just same like the rear cameras selfie photos are going to be amazing Though it might be suffering a little bit in terms in low light situation, but that could be overcome with LED flashlights or the flash from the screen. Alternatively, you can use the night mode to enhance your selfie photos. And also the selfie photos over here, they have three zoom shots for you. You can choose it to shoot even wider Especially if you are taking a lot of groupy photos, this Huawei Pura 70 Pro is able to capture a lot of people in one shot. For videography, I have mentioned that 
all the cameras can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second. That is truly amazing. However, in terms of the video quality, I would definitely have to say it only scores like above average in my honest opinion. So with that say, most of the videos you are being shooting with the Pura 70 Pro over here is going to be acceptable for your social media uploads immediately so that's a good point and also another good point for the videography is the built-in mics are pretty amazing very very clear so i think if you are going to purely purchase this device for content creation vlogging doing videos it's still acceptable to be honest so you go and check out the video samples i've shot now this video is being shot with the huawei Pura 70 Pro's front facing camera in 4K 30 frames per second. Yeah, so I'm currently at 0.8x. Yeah, I can actually punch in, zoom in back in, or go actually even much more wider to be honest. So right now, simulating in the uh, bright lighting condition. Yeah, so this is the uh, video quality to be honest. What do you think? Mr. Adrian Chu. ASEAN Data and Analytics Leader and Partner at Ernst & Young Consulting and Mr. Wing K. Lee, CEO of YTL Communications. Now, last but not least, let's talk about the battery performance. So this Huawei Pura 70 Pro is actually equipped with a 5050mAh battery. It supports 100W fast charging, wire wired. And for wireless charging, it supports up to 80W. And it also can do 20 watt reverse wireless charge yeah so that is amazing and if you want to use it to do reverse wired it can goes up to 18 watt now for battery performance over here i would definitely say it's pretty on par with most of the flagship devices if it also depends on your usage pattern as well but for me i would roughly say I would be hitting around like uh, 5 to 6 hours screen on time and then I will be hitting the uh, charger to juice it back up. Yeah, that is my verdict. So we have reached to the final point of the review video. Let me give my final verdict about this device. So the Huawei Pura 70 Pro in Malaysia comes in only one variant, 12 gigs of RAM with 512 gigabytes of internal storage and that going to cost you 4,899 ringgit Malaysia yes that is 4,899 that's quite pricey I know for some people they are going to say it's going to be pricey for sure but if you see on the good point what is actually being offered solid performance over here amazing computational photography splendid battery life if you are seeing this few key area then definitely this device is worth to purchase and uh, definitely there are some downside you have heard from my video but if you can overlook it you are actually getting a solid package from what Huawei is actually offering right now yeah truly amazing so recommendation who should be buying it I will have to say content creators you should be uh, testing these cameras they are really amazing and also for those who wants to venture into mobile photography man the photography here is amazing and then lastly if you're someone that is frequent flyer to china for business or something whatsoever then this is definitely the phone for you to purchase. 
Yeah, so these are the three area to recommend to for those who want to purchase it. And for rating, I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10 over here. What Huawei has put into this package here is truly amazing. Yeah, you get really durable and amazing design quality over here and uh, good camera setup hardly you're going to be uh, making a fuss out of it yeah 8 out of 10 to be honest it's a really solid device here yeah so with that that's my review for the Huawei Pura 70 Pro if you do love this kind of content hey please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're still new follow us on the social media and last but not least head to the website read all the latest articles and so much more and also special shout out thanks to huawei malaysia for providing this sample loan review unit however there's no cash compensation for this review video all the things are being mentioned here there's no creative input no final approval is needed it's actually based after two weeks of experiencing it so hopefully you are aware and with that, I'm Yak Ken from Train Ground. I'm gonna leave it here and I'll catch you guys on the next video.